Hello, and in this screencast on Apache ISIS, I want to show you how to add validation to an action. If we look at our application as we have it at the moment, I can create an object like this and give it a name. Um, and then if I use the edit on the property, we have this little rule that you can't have exclamation marks in there, which is fine. But there's an inconsistency because if I were to create an object through the menu, you can see that the initial name I give the object is allowed to have objects and then when I try to sort of just even just make no change at all it's no longer allowed so that's what I want to fix so let's uh, go to our IDE stop the application now the um, the validation on the name we have it implemented actually as a uh, subscriber so we're emitting this name domain event when the property is edited and then on the has name interface we've got a, um, a subscriber and what I've just done is I've factored out the, the essence of the rule which is that if the name is invalid because it contains an exclamation mark we return a message and the reason and then that reason if it is non-null will be used to invalidate the event in other words vetoing the property change uh, so that refactoring was just to give me this little method I can now call so let's now go back to the simple objects um, repository menu that's the thing that we see uh, surfaced here and so what I need to do is I need to add a validation on this and so I can go uh, have a little uh, snippet here I want to go zero for the zeroth uh, parameter which is obviously name there and then create and it's going to take a that's of type string and then what I need to do here is the same idea I need to basically return a non-null value if the value of the name is invalid and so because I've done that uh, refactoring um, I can just basically call the method that uh, we have there so that's the code, let's give it a go. Okay, the application's running, so let's uh, try, the, try it out. We go to create uh, bar, exclamation marks, and as I hoped we get the, uh, the validation message. Let's double check that we can create one without exclamation marks. All's great. Okay, so there you go, that's how you add validation rules to a uh, validated parameter using this uh, supporting method. Give it a go, try it out.